The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us today here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God on this Monday, Monday, May the 20th. We continue in the book of Romans. Today we have the fifth chapter. Remember, we read the ESV translation of the Bible from the Lutheran Study Bible. We use devotions and prayers that are included therein within the Lutheran Study Bible as well. We use the Pray For Us calendar that comes from lcms.org or we put it in our weekly bulletins here at Christ Our Savior. We also lift up in prayer those who requested prayer here at the church. So let's hear God's word together and pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways, that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us life, O Lord, according to your word, and we shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Romans, the fifth chapter, verses 1 through 11, entitled, Peace with God through Faith. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace, in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly, for one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. So far the word. We naturally seek to avoid pain and suffering, yet there are times when suffering is unavoidable. Focused on Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection, we know that suffering is not the whole story. God will use afflictions for our good and to bless others. He will keep his promises, and he will overcome our sufferings by our faith. We pray, Lord Jesus Christ, you suffered for us. When we must suffer, lead us in faith. In your name we pray. Amen. Continuing now at verse 12, death in Adam, life in Christ. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men, because all sinned, for sin indeed was in the world before the law was given. But sin is not counted where there is no law. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transgression of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by that grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. And the free gift is not like the result of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation, but the free gift following many trans trespasses brought justification. For if because of one man's trespass death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification in life for all men. For as by the one man's disobedience, the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience, the many will be made righteous. Now the law came in to increase the trespass, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more, so that as sin reigned in death, Grace also might reign through righteousness, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So far the word. 
Adam's sin brought guilt, the desire to sin and, mort and mortality to all humans. We continue to sin and deserve condemnation. Praise God, he did not stop with Adam. He sent a second Adam, a second Adam to begin a new humanity. Christ fulfilled the law. He was obedient to the Father and he paid the penalty, the full penalty for our sin. One man, Christ, has redeemed us and one man, Christ, has changed humanity forever. We pray, O oh Lord, your grace abounds for me so that I may enjoy justification, life, and peace as Adam enjoyed before the fall into sin. Reign over me, gracious Lord, that I may reign over trespasses and death, inheriting all the blessings of the second Adam. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We continue to pray on the 20th day of the month from the Pray For Us calendar. We pray for all Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod partner churches in Eurasia. We pray that God would continue to use his word as a light to those in darkness and as a stronghold for the life of his church. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. As well as Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen, Mary Ann, Karen, Art, Jane, George, Bonnie, Marilyn and Chris. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them into the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O oh Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.